Fiona. Yes, love. What is it? Are you okay? I think we should take this relationship to the next level. I think I should propose to you. Or what do you think? It is a very good idea. But why were you thinking about it? It should be something you are eager to do. I mean, you should propose to me without sharing the idea with me. I just thought about it. I didn't have it in mind. You can as well see yes right here. You know I'm not cut in for all those lovey-dovey that people get themselves in. No Raymond. You could have done this in a romantic way. I would have been happier. Well, I say yes to becoming your wife. You chose to be unhappy then. At least, you said yes already. We should get going. I need to sleep. You act mean sometimes Raymond. If not for love. Anyways, I'm set to go home too. Fiona. It is late, where are you coming from? Mom, I was with Raymond. And guess what? What am I guessing? Please guess. Raymond broke up with you. Mom. What? You only asked me to guess, and that is the only thing coming to my head. Well, it is the opposite, Mom. He proposed to me and I said yes. Are you in your right sense? Tell me you are joking. Mom. I am in my right sense. Why are you so angry? I love Raymond and you know that. You are clearly not feeling fine. I need to get anti-malarial medication for you soon because you are not okay. Why will you say yes to a man that treats you with disgust? If he doesn't love me, he won't propose to me. He loves me, Mom. He only liked to form a hard man. And I love him like that. Fiona, you are setting a trap for yourself. Who treats a woman the way Raymond does to you? Wake up from your dream. Mom. Enough of all these. I love this man and you know that. You can't choose a man for me. It is either you accept this or you live with it, Mom. Do not frustrate me. This guy gives you money always. What else do you want? He is cute and rich. I would not have you talk to me like that, Fiona. I am only after your happiness. This man is not good for you and you know it. He hurts you a lot, but you are going to marry him because you love him. Listen, lady, he is the one that should love you more, not the other way round. And you talk about money, we both know that you spend the money he gives me because I don't want it. I pray you don't regret this. Good night. It is true that Raymond doesn't care, but I love him. Raymond is jealous and acts mean. But could it be that he is just being protective? But, he is not even romantic and acts cold sometime and he can be very rude. But above all these, I love him so much and I can't let such a guy go. I love him so much. I will convince my mom and go ahead with the wedding. Fiona. I do not support this. Nothing will make me change my mind. Then, you leave me with no option mother. I am sorry. I told the man to leave it at the rate we agreed on. You can't believe that he was still begging. He told me he will need me to borrow him some money inclusive. Can you imagine? <laughs> The man is your active clad. You people should pity him. You are laughing right. I will soon transfer the man's case to you. You won't laugh by then. I need to go please. My man is waiting for me in the car. What rubbish were you doing here with the man while I was waiting for you outside? Is this what you do when you come to work? You flirt with men and laugh with them unnecessarily. Are you a slut? You were laughing so badly that you didn't realize I was watching you. What a shame. Cheap lady. You are shouting Raymond. This is an office and my colleagues are around. Please bring your voice down. How dare you talk to me like that? Who are you to tell me to lower my voice? You know I can buy this company and your boss inclusive. It is okay Raymond. I am sorry. 
but I wasn't flirting with anyone. The man I was talking with is my colleague and he is married. A married man Raymond. It is okay. Come closer then. You slapped me Raymond? That is for you being rude to me and for wasting my time. And let this be the last time you will stand and be flirting with the man. You won't like what I will do to you if you try this next time. You have a complete man like me, but you're still flirting with other men. Are you still angry? Of course I am. You slapped me in front of my colleagues. So, you want me to say sorry to you before you cheer up, right? You know the word sorry is not in my dictionary. But I will make it up to you. Tell me what you want. You need to apologize to me first. Apologize to you for correcting you when you misbehaved? You are not serious. But you were the one. One that did what? Never mind. Take me out for shopping. So be it. You know that is very easy for me to do. Anything you want, I will buy for you. Thank you, darling. That's why I love you. So, you can smile like this. You are doing all these to me because you know I love you. Let's go and check the event hall for our wedding. The event planner will meet us this evening. Okay, dear. You need to see my wedding gown. It is so beautiful. Who cares? Let's just get this done. I, Raymond George take you, Fiona Phillips to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love and honor you all the days of my life. Today, surrounded by all of your loved ones except your mom though, I choose you to be my wife. I am proud to be your husband and to join my life with yours. I vow to support you, inspire you, and love you always. For as long as we both shall live, I will be by your side. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love and honor you all the days of my life. For better or worse, in sickness and health, for richer or poorer. You are my one and only today and every day. This is my solemn vow to you. I, Fiona Phillips take you Raymond George to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love and honor you all the days of my life. Today, surrounded by all your loved ones, I choose you. I am proud to be your wife and to join my life with yours. I vow to support you, inspire you, and love you always. For as long as we both shall live, I will be by your side. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love and honor you all the days of my life. For better or worse, in sickness and health, for richer or poorer. You are my one and only today and every day. This is my solemn vow to you. We can't be kissing in public, Fiona. Again, Raymond. See how you disgraced me. Raymond, you are not going anywhere tonight. Ever since we got married three weeks ago, you've not been sleeping home. What is your problem? I won't take this from you again. Woman, I own my house, and I can choose to sleep whenever I want to sleep. Do not force me to do otherwise tonight. I am warning you now. This is very unfair to me. Is it a sin for me to love you? Who do you want me to go and tell this to? Please Raymond, have mercy on me. You are very wicked. You won't love me again if I start showing you how wicked I am. You disgust me so much, but you were just too blind to see that. At least, I provide you with all you need. You married me because of my money. Cheap woman. I am sorry Raymond. It was a mistake. Please forgive me. Mistake you called it right. I'll make a mistake on you tonight.
Madam, are you sure you are not lying about the cause of your accident? You told us that you fell in the bathroom, but these looks like scar from punches. Doctor, I am not lying. I fell in the bathroom. Can I go home now? You are asking too many questions. Oh, I am sorry about that. You can go home. You will need to come back for a follow-up treatment. Please, be careful. Or is it your husband that did this to you? You can talk to me, please. Doctor? What is your problem? I am leaving. Okay, then. Fiona, where are you coming from? Raymond, can't you see me? I went to treat myself. You did not even call to check up on me. Who cares? I only made the same mistake you made on me. Raymond, this is not fair. When you knew you didn't love me as much as I do, why didn't you leave me alone? But, did you leave me alone? Ah, see how bad my face is from your punches. I can't even go to work. That is your problem. Please get me something to eat. I am famished. In this present condition. Raymond, do your worse. I need to rest. You are trying me, Fiona. I won't allow the devil use me again. I'll leave you to God. All my body aches. I feel pain all around. Ah, if I had known that all these would happen, I would have listened to my mom. Fiona, who is the guy that sent you message this morning? Who sent you get well soon, I miss you. Who is missing you? Calm down Raymond. That must be one of my colleagues. They didn't see me at work, so they all called to check on me. And you went to tell them that your husband beat you up? My major problem is that, why is a man telling you he misses you? What kind of relationship do you have with him? You are dating another guy right? I will teach you the biggest lesson of your life today. See what you have done to yourself now. Just pray you don't lose both eyes. I told you, but you wouldn't listen to me. You were eager to rush into marriage. You thought your marriage will be perfect because you love your husband, not knowing that it should be from both end. He is the one mandatory to love you according to the Bible, why you submit to him. I said it then, you said you don't care. You even denied me access to your wedding venue. I don't know what you want to do now. Your husband is currently in the cell. Mother, I have regretted my actions. I am still regretting that I didn't listen to you. I was overwhelmed and I thought I was doing the right thing. I thought you were only an hindrance. I didn't realize I was walking into a den of trouble and problem. Raymond is wicked, mean, jealous selfish, arrogant and a devil. I knew this, but I thought he was going to change after marriage. I saw the red flags, but I ignored foolishly. If he could not change during courting, he can never change in marriage. What do you want to do now? Mom, I will file for a divorce. I can't continue again. Thank God we are not up to two months yet. If I continue in this marriage, you should be ready to bury me. This is a lesson to all singles out there, to watch out for red flags in their partners, and not to be blinded by love or money. I deeply regret this. It is okay. I will continue praying for you. This is a big lesson, if you rush into marriage, you will definitely rush out. I am sorry mom. Please forgive me. I have forgiven you dear daughter. My reputation is destroyed. Ah. This lady eventually landed me in trouble. I wasn't attracted to her at all. I just had to force myself into marrying her. She irritates me every day and brought out the beast in me. I thought I could force the feelings. I could have just let her go, but I only wanted to have her to myself. Ah. When am I going to be free from this? A lesson to all men, if you don't love her, let her go. If you are not attracted to that lady, 
let her go. If you can't stand her, let her go. Do not marry out of pity. I'm in trouble already. Only God can help me now.